Hi guys, this is Kathy and this is my hot house. Um, it's early in the morning so there's a bit of dew settling on the top of the roof. But a few weeks ago I said that, I, oh a couple of weeks, last week sorry, I said that I was going to um, do an experiment and um, put the wood chips from the chook house into my raised bed to top it up. So I've planted this up with some celery and some bok choy just as a quick crop um, so that I can put some summer stuff in. Um, I have got a tomato that was self-sown and um, I've just put that into a wire cage. It is um, some dog wire. I find that it's great for growing tomatoes because you can still get your hands through and I just tie them up as they go. So, trowel? Yeah, hi. I'll grab my trowel and um, we'll see what the soil's like. So let's have a dig. And look at all those worms. My goodness. So yeah, there's heaps in there. Little, little buggers going everywhere. So this soil has obviously, since it's been in the chook shed, broken down and the worms have come up. So we're going to see how this grows. Um, the celery does do really well in the hot house, so I've got some bunches over here, which, um, yeah, will be going into some beautiful celery soup. And I've got a friend coming over today to take a bunch. But um, I've just been picking out the outside stalks and using them in soups for the last, I don't know, four or five months now. I'll show you in a minute the ones that I planted outside in the garden during winter. And um, you'll see just how much of a difference being in the hothouse has made. So it has gone a bit feral in here. Um, I've got a couple of cos lettuces which I was hoping would go to seed so I can collect some seed there but a couple of them have rotted away which is a bit of a waste but the chooks will get them today and I'll replant and I've got another tomato that's popped up at the back there so I'll let that pop up there and see which variety it is um, also got some capsicums so or peppers for you guys in America uh, picked a few, they were last year's, um, probably going to pull them out because they're not looking the best, but um, yeah, we'll see how they go. Also got some little cherry um, chilies, and they're the ones that they can stuff with a bit of um, feta or nice cheese, so I've got a friend who does that for me, and yeah. This is the hot house. Also got a little self-sown avocado with a sting nettle that's popped up. But that's okay. I'll put the sting nettle into a liquid feed. And that can rot down. So I'll show you the rest of my raised beds outside. So these are my raised beds. The construction was actually designed for a uh, hot house, but I actually used the wrong sheeting for it and I didn't realise because I'm not any way technically minded or build or plants are my thing and you could get some more um, polycarbonate to put over the top but I decided not to and during summer I grow all my beans up of it and actually the tomatoes as well get that high so get up on a ladder and pick the fruit from that um, the raised beds um, have just been constructed out of some colour bond. Um, in the front there you'll see some dragon fruit which I desperately need to plant. So we'll come in and yeah I usually just hang baskets of um, uh, strawberries which at this time of year don't do very well because it's been so cold. We've actually got a nice winter's day but it's kind of blowing a bit so might end up raining this afternoon but in here I've got hold of some tree collards so that'll be really interesting it's the first year I've actually grown them been using them in smoothies and they're quite strong 
but um, they, they taste really good. I've got some climbing peas up the back there and as I go along this is some coriander first time I've actually ever had coriander self-sow so every other year that I've ever grown it I've let it go to seed harvest some of the seed let the rest of the seed go down onto the ground it's never popped up so obviously the conditions of being in a raised bed have really really helped um, we've got some broccoli which will need to be picked and eaten um, also just got some other greens and different bits of kale and along here we've got some onions so it will be interesting to see how they go in the raised beds because I've only ever done them in my other old beds um, got some beetroot um, carrot. It's kind of a bit of a mixture of a garden bed and the same with this one over here you'll see that there's bits of carrot and bits of broccoli in there as well. Um, every time I was planting seeds the seeds would germinate, uh, get to about two leaf stage and disappear. So I came out at night and discovered I had so many snails it was ridiculous. Um, with using the corrugated bits of tin you'll notice we have a snail hiding in there so I um, had a real plague of snails and slugs in here so that's why I've got such a mixture of crops trying to get something to grow but um, yeah I'll definitely have to do some I've tried beer baits, they don't seem to work unless someone can recommend a good tasting beer that the snails like because mine are obviously really fussy um, but I will give Vegemite and maybe a bit of sugar and water a go and see how that goes but I'll go around to the other side and I'll show you the celery so you can see a difference in the size so here we have the celery that I planted the same time as the ones that I planted in the hothouse as you can tell by my hand they're really actually really small because I actually have really small hands um, so the hothouse has definitely made a huge difference I do foliar feed my plants and I do use a sustainable um, product which I won't mention on TV or video but um, it is renewable so I do try and use any products that are uh, eco-friendly and um, having quite good results with it too so I'm quite impressed with those I have a bit of freckle lettuce that's just popped up because um, I let some stuff go to seed so yeah so one problem I do have with the raised garden beds is the fact that I have got no joining part on the side here where the corrugated iron is or colour bun so at the moment all the soil is coming out down at the bottom um, I'm not a constructive person whatsoever so if any of you guys out there have got any ideas on how I can solve this problem because it's um, really annoying um, you can see there's a hole down there where the soil's going out and the slugs and the snails like to actually hide down in there and um, yeah I just really want to stop it from growing so yeah I'd really appreciate it if anyone's got any ideas so if you'd like to see some more videos by me um, subscribe and like this video and we'll catch you next time bye